Go. You ready? Uh, let's do it. My name is Rylan Mark. What's the first good memory you had with Landon? I would say when me and uh, just making memories through, through the FFA, um, we were never big <laughs> athletic guys. That wasn't really our cup of tea. We always liked to, we were always thought of as the ag kids and uh, I just remember how we would walk into ag class Usually, we didn't have that class, probably shouldn't have been in that class, but we would walk in and everybody would just light up because he just brought that kind of energy to any room he walked into. What's the best Landon story you have? It's hard for me to pinpoint exactly to which memory is my best one of him because we made so many over the years. Uh, but I would say probably I would have to put it to the place that I feel like we made the most, and that would be fifth period advanced animal science last year. We just, I mean, we did our work and we got our work done, but we also knew how to have a good time. And uh, we did make uh, Miss Haas, I think we might have drove her crazy a few times, but I mean, we just, we knew how to have a good time and everybody was just there for it. Thank you. What's your name? Nate Opiela. What's the best Landon story you have? My best Landon story I ever had was definitely, it was about two, three years ago. I was laying in bed and he calls me saying, oh, you, do you want to go duck hunting in Port O'Connor? I'm like, I've never been duck hunting in Port O'Connor. I'm like, have you ever been there to the coast duck hunting? He's like, no, I haven't either, but we're going to go give it a shot. So we get to Port O'Connor and we unload the boat at Froggy's and we're running down the intercoastal and I'm looking around, I'm like, what kind of decoys did you bring, Landon? He's like, oh, well, I, brought, I brought 24 mallard decoys. I'm like, well, Landon, have, I've never seen a mallard at the coast. He's like, well, I read somewhere that the ducks like mallard decoys at the coast. I'm like, okay, we'll give it a shot. So we're running through Little Mary's and we're going to Old Coast Guard Station. That's where we we're duck hunting at. And we get there, and we're setting up, and I jump out. We both jump out of the boat, and we sink in the mud about waist deep. And I'm like, what did you get us into now? So we set up all the mallard decoys out there looking like idiots. People are driving by just looking at us like we're stupid. And the sun comes up, and there's about 3,000 mama mergansers, as Landon called it, they're just big, big brown ducks. They're not even a duck at all, but that's what we called them. And from then on out, like, Landon's dad was wearing brown waders, and we called Landon's dad the Mama Merganser because he looked like one of them waders. What's your name? Zach Inky. What did you like most about Landon? The thing I liked most about Landon was if you ever need someone to call on, he was there. And if he, um, you ever need someone to talk to, he was there. He was always smiling. He was never, never mad at anyone. And he was just always there for you. What's your name? Lauren Lundy. What did you like most about Landon? Um, he had an energy about him that not many other people have. He could take me from crying to laughing in just a few minutes. He never let me fall behind and always made sure I had a place. He loved his friends and his family deeply and didn't care about other people's opinions. And he just lived his life and he was happy and spent time with the people he loved. What's the best Landon story you have? Um, last year at the Halloween FFA meeting, him and Rylan Morick dressed up as Dumb and Dumber and they hijacked my car, put me in the back seat. And during football practice, they drove circles around the football field, blasting Mr. Clean. I was so embarrassed. I was hiding in the back seat, but Landon didn't care. He was happy. Um, he was with his friends and he was having a good time. And I just think that represents how he lived his life so well. What's your name? Cody Bible. What did you like most about Landon? 
The most I liked about Landon was definitely his smile and his laugh, and he always had something funny to say about anything. He'd always walk in the classroom, and he always had something to say right off the bat, and he always had his big old smile on, and that's that was the most, that was the thing about him that stuck out the most to me. My name is Tanner Cliff. I'm the director, editor, and maker of this short film. Um, me and Landon, we met, uh, well, we met freshman year, but we didn't start really talking until end of sophomore year, and that flowed into the summer, obviously, and we stopped talking again, but come j beginning of the junior year, we had a class together, seventh period, and I mean, we just shot off. We started playing dominoes every single day together. He was my domino partner. Like, we never went with anyone else. And that flowed into hanging outside of school and just, like, growing this, like, big, tight relationship. And then the accident happened, obviously. And I knew right then, like, when, like, days after it happened, after, the, like, the shock of it all goes away, that, like, all you want to do is, like, see him again and not just see him again you want to like and it you know you can't do that so you have to like find ways to honor him and when my digital media teacher who i'm doing this class for uh miss opiella just said hey we have this thing and showed some examples and i was like yeah i gotta i gotta try my best to honor landon with this so i immediately knew i was going to make a documentary and just show all of his stories and I'm just so happy that I had the ability to, you know, honor Landon in my own way.